hey good morning my name is vipin kumar and in today's topic we'll focus on managing user accounts in kubernetes in this video we will create user account in namespace then assigning our back role based access control on kubernetes resources kubernetes support two kinds of account one is user account second is service account user account basically for the human use like create a user account for a developer who can create delete and access the resource on kubernetes cluster where has service account used for a process in a pod like you are running a specific process under this service account this is my kubernetes cluster machine and uh, uh, to create a user account we have to follow couple of these steps kubernetes provide multiple ways for the authentication and authorization like service token for the service account and client certificate authentication for normal user account we are going to create a user account and make authentication under client certificate there are multiple steps to create a user account and assign our back permissions so first steps we have to create a private key for the user account so let's start i am taking a scenario like i have a separate team for java project and i have to create a normal user called developer who will have the complete access on this namespace like developer can read delete update all the resource under the namespace called java project first of all let's create a separate namespace for the java project i am creating a namespace java project so java project has been created now let's create a private key for the user account before that let's create a separate folder where we are going to keep all the certificates and required file for the particular user account i am going to create a user account called developer so i have created a developer folder or directory let's now create a private key for the user developer i am using the open ssl to generate a private key and uh, the bit is 2048 it created a private key for the developer user account this is a private key next step is let's create a csr for the developer user account again i am using the open ssl certificate to generate a csr i am using the open ssl certificate and i am creating a new csr based on developer.p please make sure that your c name is equal to your user account i am creating a user account developer so common name should be developer and organization it can be anything so i gave the java developers so let's create a csr csr has been generated for the developers user let's verify this is csr for the developers users now next point is sign the certificate with the cluster ca for that you require to find out the location where kubernetes cluster keep all the certificate i am using the kubernetes cluster managed by kube adm so certificate location for me is this is the location for kubernetes cluster certificate check your kubernetes cluster certificate location and sign certificate for developer user i am using the open ssl certificate and x509 that is a standard signing certificate options request based on developer.csr that is a kubernetes cluster certificate location this is a ca and the ca key and with 500 days validity let's go ahead and sign the certificate for the developers so now you can see here we have 
developer.crt, developer.csr and developer.e. Keep these files in a secure location because we are providing these files to the developers to connect your Kubernetes cluster. With help of these files, developer user account going to authenticate to your Kubernetes cluster environment. Now let's create a role for the namespace. So basically I am creating a role for the namespace Java project. Basically this is a YAML file and I am creating a role with API version rbec.authorization.as.io v1 beta 1 and I am creating a role for the Java project namespace. This is the name and I am creating a API group that is for everyone. This particular role is limited with deployment, replica set, ports and these are list of the permission going to assign onto resource means developer can get list, watch, create, update, patch or delete on deployment, replica set and ports. Let's go ahead and save it and run it okay role has been created for java project namespace next step is let's go ahead and bind this role to the user account of developers so let's create a role binding yaml file this is a yaml file kind of role binding and this role binding for java project namespace this is the role and it is going to bind to developers user so let's go ahead and run it so we have completed all these steps from 1 to 5 now time is to set up the credential for developer user account for cube ctl config file so that developer user account can communicate to kubernetes cluster machine so let's go ahead and set a credential for developer users this is the command and uh, i'm using the set credential developers client certificate located under the developer developer.crt and root developer developer.e let's go ahead and set the credential for the config file it has been set now let's create or set context for namespace java project with user account developers now go ahead and set context it has been created now let's verify our config file this is the cluster information this is the cluster ip address with certificate this is the context this is for the namespace java project and user developers this is for the kubernetes admin this is the certificate information about developers. This is the certificate for the cube admin user. This file contained sensitive information about your Kubernetes admin user account. Hence, we can't provide this file to your developers. We require to modify this file and we have to provide the config file only for developers information. So let's Go ahead and modify this file. We don't require to change to cluster information. We require the context for Java project. We don't require context for Kubernetes admin. Go ahead and delete it. Change current context. It is called developer context and we require to keep user account developer and delete user account information for kubernetes admin go ahead and delete it now you require to provide two files one is developer.crt and developer.e to your developer team so let's bring those files from the server and download on my desktop because I have configured the kubectl at my local machine to connect to Kubernetes cluster. 
let's go ahead and download two files developer.crt and developer.key file okay i have downloaded crt and key file and create a folder on the location where you have config file for kubectl since i am using the windows machine for the kubectl so this is the my location where i have config file for kubectl i am going to create a folder called developer and copying the file which i have downloaded from the server now you need to modify the location in config file for do certificate now you can provide this file to your developers and they can use this file as a kubectl config file let's try with this file this is the file i am going to use it for kubectl configuration let me show you once again okay this has information about uh, cluster information this is for the java project and this is for developer users let's go ahead and test with developer users now you can see here i am successfully able to make a connection in my kubernetes cluster with user account developers let's check how many contacts we do have in this file so we can see here we have only four developer context let's get try to port from java project namespace so you can see here no resource found that is okay because we don't have any port that is running under java project namespace let's try to get port under the default namespace or some other namespace where developer doesn't have the access so look at here we got a forbidden error because this user account doesn't have the proper access on default namespace when we try to same namespace under the java project we could successfully able to get a outcome so this particular user account have only access on java project namespace let's try to run some of the ports under the namespace java project now let's try to get port information in the java project namespace so now you can see here we successfully able to create a deployment we successfully able to make a list of the port in a java project namespace and we isolated this user account with other namespace this is the complete demonstration how you can create and isolate a normal user account with other namespace that's all in this video in the coming video i am going to demonstrate how we can provide a complete access on java project namespace and and read only access on other namespace in kubernetes dashboard thanks for watching have a nice day bye